guys. So here we are on a Jeep Liberty. As you can see, I've got a damaged rear light lens. So uh, I've purchased one online. Got it for about 35 pounds sterling. Um, tools for the job, all you need is uh, an extension tool. If you're gonna do the left-hand side, boot side, because you've got to get in there to the two T20 Torx. You can see, yeah, there's one just down there, and then there's one just at the top down. You can just see it. So uh, I'm gonna go in with that, see if I can do it all one-handed. True professional. Okay, try and see that. Right. Okay, nicely done. There's one. Get that off. And then try and make sure you're in there because you don't want to chew it up. There we go. Two. The next bit, I might have to put the camera down because uh, you literally have to pull the lens out. Although mine is broken, it may come out easier. Yeah. I'm going to have to use two hands for this, so let's remove the lens and then I'll show you how I've done it. Okay, so what I've done, I've got a plastic tool just in there just to lever it out at the top and at the bottom. So uh, that made it easier to come out. So now we've got access and we can see the electrical connector. I'll rest it in there for a second. Uh, so you've got the red tab, uh, sometimes you have to pull these out. Let's try and do it. Yeah, if I get a screwdriver in there, just to pull that out. So yeah, with the red tab, I had to push with a screwdriver backwards to uh, release it. It's like a kind of lock. And then obviously just pull your tab off. So now I can change the... Uh, Light cluster, if you need to change bulbs, you just twist anti-clockwise and pull out and obviously turn it back clockwise to put it back in position for any bulb changes. So that's how it's done. Um, I'm going to change it over and then reinstall. So just as an extra safety measure, I suppose, to stop you from dropping it, there's this uh, little grommet which is plugged in the bottom of the light just in there. So you just have to literally pull that out to uh, fully release it. So I reinsert the little grommet in the hole down the bottom, push the plug in, put the lock back in place, and then line it up. I would do a light test check just before you fully secure it. So we'll do that now um, and see how we are. So yeah, all looking good. Um, I'm sure the brake light works. So I'll have to do another check with that with a mirror later. But um, yeah, that's all good to re-secure. So literally just push it in, line up your rubber grommets. You got one down the bottom, you just see it in there, and then one at the top. There you go. Line them up and push it back in place. And then just secure your two. Because this has got panel damage, it's probably made mine a little bit more difficult to get in. But I'm going to secure that back in place with the two T20 talks. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a like. Much appreciated.